So resetting our iPhones is typically one thing that a lot of people end up doing at a certain point in their life. The reason being is because resetting your iPhone at the core basically means that you're changing certain settings and certain you know data within your iPhone to what it was like before you bought it, aka factory settings. Now, resetting your iPhone is something I would not recommend everyone to do if you're currently using your iPhone. The reason being is because a majority of things that you can, you know, you might have trouble with or you might have problems with within your iPhone, you can actually go ahead and fix without having to reset anything. The only times I'd recommend to reset your iPhone is if another Apple, you know, provider or someone told you to do it, or someone's troubleshooting your iPhone, they did it, or if you're returning your iPhone or if you're selling your iPhone or trading in, whatever the case is. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend even touching these settings. Now there's a couple different reset options that you actually have within your iPhone. Now the first one being you can reset all settings. So if you reset all your settings on your iPhone, this will basically reset everything within your iPhone within that settings application almost. So this includes your network settings, the keyboard dictionary, location settings, privacy settings, and any Apple Pay cards, wallet, anything like that. None of your actual data on your phone is deleted. So all your application data, your photos, videos, songs, anything like that is still going to be stored on your iPhone. Now resetting network settings is a little bit different. This only touches your network settings of your iPhone. So this will include your Wi-Fi connection, any cell connection, things like that. And they mentioned any manually trusted certificates such as websites. Those things are then going to be changed to untrusted. And that will basically reset your network settings for you. Now the big settings, you know, that basically a lot of people will go ahead and basically reset is to erase all content and settings. Now this is that big one. This one will basically delete everything on your iPhone. So before you even touch this, if you're thinking about resetting your iPhone, I would recommend actually backing up your iPhone and back up all the data within that device. That is one of the biggest things I'd recommend doing. But from this point, what I would recommend doing for the most part is to actually go through, you know, if you actually want to erase all content of settings, and this will erase everything on your iPhone. So this includes your Apple ID. So anything tied to your Apple ID, your phone contacts, iMessages, your songs, your photos, your videos, any application on your specific iPhone, everything will basically go and be deleted and all your data will be reset and removed from this particular iPhone. If you're trading in your iPhone, this is probably exactly what you want if you're selling it, whatever. But if you're just messing around with it and you're just curious what it is, and that's basically what happens. It'll delete everything on your iPhone. And I really don't think that's what the average person wants to do right now. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that. But for the most part, those are pretty much the main, you know, that's basically what happens for each individual reset panel of your particular iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, though, me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.